My name is Haley and I'm here with Summer Rose and we're going to give you a brief trading demonstration of um, the training that she's had. So basically the training program can be broken down into five main areas. Intense positive socialization, manners, obedience commands, house training, and leash training. So we're going to jump right into the manners. The first of our manners is coming out of any kind of a gate or a doorway. So coming out of the crate, going in and out of your home, in and out of the yard. She's always expected to stay and wait for your verbal release before she's um, allowed to, to come out. This really kind of sets the foundation for the obedience, which is we're trying to replace physical control with verbal control. And I'll show you what to expect with her just like this. Stay. Also expected to stay on all fours around me and not jump up on me and just like that she's expected to sit automatically for greetings so whenever she comes up to me approaches me makes eye contact with me um, or just doesn't know what else to do kind of as a default behavior without me asking I just want her to sit and that does a couple of things for us number one it um, plants them in one place so they're not running all around and number two um, when their hind end goes down, their eyes come up and look to us, and then we have their attention. Um, and then also it's kind of a preventative measure to keep her from learning to jump up on you or put her paws on you. So make sure you continue to ask for that and hold her to that expectation. Good girl. Another manner that she's been taught is to be very, very gentle with her mouth and to use her lips and her tongue um, to take things from your hand rather than her teeth. And if she ever gets grabby for whatever reason, um, she's competing with another dog, for example, or you have something really yummy in your hands, just hold on to whatever it is you have and say gently and expect her to be very, very soft with her teeth. So she's expected to drop things on command and release things to you. Actually open her mouth and release it to you on command. Drop it. Good girl. So you just say drop it and you want her to open her mouth and release that to you. Another one of her manners, good girl, is her mealtime manners. Every time you feed her, and this just happens during the natural course of the day, ask her for a sit and a stay. Stay. Okay. Before you give her the verbal release and allow her to go eat. And you'll notice that I use OK as a release word and I also use it as my marker um, to mark a behavior and let her know that's the correct behavior and that she's all done, nothing more is expected of her. Sit. Stay. OK. And just like that, we also make a habit of putting our hands in her food bowl while she's eating so that she learns that she doesn't need to develop any kind of a protective aggression or food aggression. Um, so that she learns that if she sees a hand in her food bowl that it's a good thing and not something that needs to be guarded against. And we really recommend that you keep up with that as well. Just slip a treat in or give her some love, take it away, give it back to her so she doesn't feel the need to guard against anybody approaching her while she eats. Um, which is a very, very common and very natural things for dog, for thing for dogs to learn how to do.